Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer um, for the month of October. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Uh, your messages could be there. If not, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, so with the teacup being in the center of this reading, it feels like something got blown out of proportion. And somebody shut the other one out, went cold, or gave a cold shoulder, or put them out. Somebody was upset because she, this Queen of Swords is in the reverse. Um, what we have at the bottom of the decks here is, um, geez, I have this Queen twice. This is very focused, intense, en intense energy. Um, either on having been shut out uh, or the reasons for this uh, or with regards to someone that you have shut out. Okay, so she, I have the Queen of Cups here and I have the King of Cups here. So we have our couple. Um, she's holding her cup. She's got very little, uh, she doesn't have all the information. There's mystery here. Um, so maybe she's not completely understanding something. Now, uh, she is wanting a new beginning and hoping to be able to cut through the, um, the obstacle. Okay, but there's things she doesn't see. Now, he, on the other hand, okay, so here we see that there was a fight. We have the, um, the Five of Swords energy over here. So, um, a victory, uh, but at a great cost. Somebody moved away again. You got that little six of, six of spades and the little three of spades here. These are swords. And um, so there was heartbreak here for sure. Um, hmm. somebody feels like the victim. I feel it, it has to be him because he's looking, uh, and she's confused. So he's looking, so maybe he thought she did something. That he's looking at his, his, the hand he's been dealt here. Oops, in this Five of Swords energy here. He's looking at the hand he was dealt and he's not liking it, okay? Something is not right. Something feels out of balance here. Um, he too, uh, they both want new beginnings. From what I can see, they both of them come with the Empress. Um, he wants to try to recreate or... Um, reestablish order. So he doesn't like his hand uh, and so he goes off to think. So maybe he just walked out off to think. He doesn't like uh, what happened or whatever uh, started that, uh, that fight, that argument. With the emperor being here, I have to say that it could be, maybe that king is a, a little bit controlling. Uh, maybe he blew up over a little incident with that teacup. And she's sitting there like, what's happening? <laughs> you know, he blows up and, and walks out. So it goes off. To think. So here we see 
the two of shields in the reverse. This is wanting another chance, wanting another um, opportunity in this deck. And then we have the high priest, uh, a high priestess on this, and she um, is about. Uh, it's about on this card in this deck. This is um, not knowing what lies ahead. So they want another chance. They don't know what lies ahead. Um, this can be um, indicating that the journey would require uh, some things to go. So it's like what needs to go and, and what can stay in order to have that possibility, in order to have um, a successful result. And so it is the actions, I feel it's of this king here, okay, who doesn't like the hand he was dealt, uh, that will determine the outcome. Because clearly, this behavior of the emperor is not working. Maybe he's a little too possessive. Maybe, um, uh, maybe very jealous. But one thing is for sure, he does want to fight for the relationship. So I feel that he does make the journey. Um, we have down here an offer that somebody's sitting on. Um, we have the eye uh, watching, waiting. This could be her. Um, intuitively, maybe she knows. Uh, it's not over. With uh, this card of devotion, it's it's really being devoted to someone. It is um, it's passion, it's desire. Uh, you either did or would give anything for that person, and I feel they too feel the same because they. What we see here is both of you think that there's still potential here for growth. Both of you want this new beginning. And he is willing to do the work to fight for the relationship. There is reflection here, the pond. Uh, it can be about uh, the pond and the cauldron. We're looking at a rebirth here. Um... Hmm. Um, both the chicken and the four of pentacles is, is a card of guarding what you have, fear of loss. Um, so that may apply uh, possibly. Uh, it could be this person uh, may have a tendency to smother uh, if they're very uh, possessive. Um, but the chicken uh, speaks to the power of the voice. So the card appears when you need to speak up about something, something that's been bothering you uh, for quite some time. And it could be about this person's behavior. Maybe that's what was brought up. And maybe that person did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> and got, you know, blew everything out of proportion. I don't feel that it was anything really big. It's a small thing that got blown out of proportion and that caused this disruption here. Confusion. Um... So someone is confused here. Um, they're looking uh, to the future. It, it can be a card of vision. Um, it, 
it's about uh, making or the desire to make the right decision. And she looks, she looks at the star. So maybe she is hoping that this person makes the right decision because the star can be hope. And this is what she's looking at. It is also indicating um, that she's going to receive a wish. Family reunions. <laughs> I have two Ace of Wands here. Windows of opportunity. And I feel, you know, that for each of them is a wand. I feel that both desire this. Something got blown out of proportion. This person may have a short fuse, um, may need to work on that, may need to work on jealousy uh, issues, but ultimately it does work because as a final card, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the wish. So a wish is granted here. But, you know, uh, there is still work to be done. But it seems as though um, they are willing to do the work. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation um, for the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.